Hi, and welcome to the section of the Physics 2 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to build upon what we talked about in the previous section. And in this section, we're going to talk about expansion and contraction of solids and liquids when you heat them up or cool them down, basically, is what we're going to talk about here. And it sort of builds on what we talked about last section, because in the last section, we were really just strictly interested in talking about what is a temperature scale, what, uh, you know, how do you build a thermometer, and if you notice, we actually talked a little bit and, and kind of indirectly touched upon this concept in the last section, because we said the concept of a thermometer is usually a tube and it's got a liquid in there like mercury or alcohol, and when you heat it up, we said that that, um, that liquid expands and it gets bigger and you can read the numbers off of the edge of the thermometer. That's what, that's what we said in the last section. This section we're going to kind of put some math behind that and kind of think about it and, uh, and put some rigor behind it, okay? So what you need to really think about is conceptually, let's talk about conceptually what happens. Everything that you've known in your whole life is made of atoms uh, and or molecules and so those are those are little tiny building blocks that are you know very close together and they you know they're not really touching but they interact with each other because of the forces that go on at the molecular level at the atomic level okay the the the, the nuclear forces that are there and the atomic forces that are at that level okay and what we know is that those guys at a certain temperature all atoms, molecules, or whatever, they're, they have a certain energy when they're at a certain temperature. I mean, everything does. Everything that you are made of, and everything that you're touching, and everything that you can interact with at the molecular uh, level is moving. Okay, everything that you've ever known and touched is vibrating um, at the molecular level, and that's just a, a universal truth. It, it's that way. And you can sort of think of the uh, the, uh, the, the, the amount of energy in those vibrations is proportional to its temperature. It kind of makes sense. If you put a flame under something, you're adding energy to that substance. Where's the energy going to go? It, it's got to go somewhere. It doesn't just disappear. It, will, it goes into the energy of motion of the atoms or the molecules that uh, you're actually putting that flame under. And likewise, if you put something in the freezer and cool it down, what's happening is the energy, the, the, the thermal energy of the atoms or the molecules in the substance, they're vibrating, okay? Well, if you put them in the freezer, then what happens is that, that heat basically goes out of that material off into the cooler uh, surroundings of the freezer, and where the conservation of energy says that energy must come from somewhere, so it comes from the, uh, the, the oscillations going on at the atomic level, and they slow down. Okay? So you can sort of conceptually think about, you know, we all know that, that we use sort of the, 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 uh, the, the beach ball or the, or the billiard ball model of the atom okay, at the molecular le level, and we think of it as a nucleus with these little balls orbiting, and that's not really right. Okay? When you get to quantum mechanics, it's quite a bit more complicated, and actually it's a lot more strange than that, but that model actually serves its purpose very well here, because we can think about everything vibrating and if you add energy to it you can kind of think about them vibrating more and more violently maybe with a larger swing or something if you want to think about actually like a like a golf ball or something kind of oscillating you put energy into it maybe it oscillates a little bit more like this well if you have an entire material full of these things that are oscillating and you add energy to it with a flame or torch or put it in an oven or something, or a microwave oven, then the things are going to be vibrating, they're going to collide more often with much more energy, and on the whole, the aggregate response of a substance is going to be to expand slightly. Okay, That's basically what I'm, I'm building up to here, something that you, you may have already known, but when you add energy to something, because you're increasing the uh, oscillations, the amplitude and the energy of those oscillations, and they're banging into the adjacent atoms uh, next to them, 